Hello, it's Mike Kroger, Finale Inventory. In this short video, we're going to go over um, stock takes, specifically what we call audit or write zeros. When you do stock takes uh, using the mobile scanner, you've got two options. One we call it more of a cycle count. The other one is called an audit. What's the difference? Well, we're going to concentrate here on audit or write zeros. That's where you're basically going to do a reset on the entire sublocation or stock location that you're doing the stock take for. So if you look in the lower corner, we're uh, that's a live link to a camera for an example of two different bins, A11 on the left and A12 on the right. So you can see that reality is what you see there. A12 is empty and A11 has a red card and a black card. Now let's let's go into this further so let's move into kind of more of an example here that you can see so you all will identify with the concept of okay every now and then the stock system gets off for whatever reason a human made an error somewhere so here in this picture example where you'll see the bin on the left the computer thinks that there are six cards there there's white yellow a gold a silver a red and a black but if you look down there in reality to the camera over here um, you know there may only be two cards there so how do you how do you do that how do you reset that and then let's think about um, another example um, you know this is where we're saying hey reality is is for this one bin but so in this in this example we're going to show you how to do a stock take to reset these okay so especially it's difficult you can imagine that a cycle count would go after uh, the reality down here where there's just two cards in that left bin and you know how would you be able to reset something where you don't have a barcode to scan it to reset it so that's where um, the right zero comes in so it's a specific mode so let's jump over and show you more details on the scanner for this so we're going to bring up our um, stock system here and also let's bring up the scanner so we're we're talking about the stock take feature now how do you get to the right zero mode so you want to validate that you've got this option turned on so you're going to go to settings from the main menu and then you're going to advance down to the stock take or the TAK settings so you see how number 19 here is TAK that means it's for the stock take feature and we've got right zeros turned to yes so if it says yes here you're in audit mode or right zero mode if you change this to make a no you're just in a normal cycle count so cycle count is designed for where you scan a sublocation and you scan a part number and the only thing you're going to affect in that stock in that in that location is the part number that you scan if you don't scan it we don't affect it it doesn't change it at all but when you turn right zeros on what this means is is when you go to a sublocation whatever you do not scan whatever part number you do not scan whatever serial number you do not scan it the scanner is going to set everything else to zero which resets the sublocation so we're gonna we're gonna do this so let's show you this and how this works so I've turned and made sure the right zero is on when you're doing a stock take it is very critical very important that you sync with the scanner so I'm gonna make sure here in the background you see in me navigate the normal procedures we're gonna connect to the docked mobile scanner we're gonna go ahead and and sync make sure this scanner knows the real conditions of the cloud at this moment in time so now I'm ready to go do my stock take so but I'm gonna show you here notice how the bin 11 over here in the sublocations in the background and bin 11 is represented there on the left in the camera so there's only two cards in there but if you look here on the screen the system thinks that there there could be um, the black one the gold one has something in a 11 the red the silver the white and the yellow so that we obviously have a problem there so reality says yeah there's only two cards there so we need to reset bin 11 but also bin 12 you know, bin 12 says it's got stock in it and all these different parts. But if you look, bin 12 is empty. So our goal here is showing you how to use this audit feature to make this very simple and very easy. So to further, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to narrow 
my um, my stock search here. So I'm going to say, show me what's in A11. So I've kind of narrowed my filter here to A11, and it does show me that we've got one quantity of each of these in this bin A11 that we've got to fix. So really, there should just be a black one here and a red one, and the rest should be zero. All right. And if we were to look at 12, you'd see kind of the same scenario here. Let's take a look at 12. 12, it thinks it has, you know, one of this and one of this one, three of this one, one and one and one. And in reality, it, it has nothing in bin 12. So let's do this stock take and watch this work. So we're going to do a stock take. And then we're going to do the sublocation. So all we have to do is take our scanner and we're going to scan that bin. So I've got a barcode on the front of that bin. So you're going to see me kind of reach down here and get it. So as soon as I scan A11, you notice that the stock take has gone and said, OK, you're at A11. Now scan an item. So I'm going to reach in there and I'm going to scan that red one. OK, and then I'm going to scan the black one. So that's all we care about. So if we're done, now I want to show you this, that we could move on to the next bin if we wanted to audit it. So if I just jump right over there, I'm going to come down here and if you look at the screen, we're in the stock take for 11 and we just scanned two items. Now watch when we change the bin that we're auditing. So I'm going to come down here and scan bin 12. Now watch the screen. The stock take has detected that you've changed locations in the audit. So it says you're exiting A11 and you're starting A12. Is this what you want to do? And if you do this, look what's going to happen. It's pointing out the fact that we left A11 and the system has detected that you didn't get a gold one, a silver one, a white one, or a yellow one. That's exactly what we want to happen. So if we were to look back here in the background, you'll see that, yeah, we need to get rid of, if, if, it's, if it doesn't have, it just has a black and a red, so we got to get rid of these other ones. So that's exactly what I want to do. So we're going to confirm that, and then you see that we're at A12. So we need to confirm what's in A12. Well, what, guess what? There's nothing in A12. So I don't need to scan it at all. If I scan nothing with the audit or write zero modes on, it's going to write zeros to everything. So all I need to do is hit menu and exit, and it will say, hey, um, you're going to exit A12. You didn't scan anything, so I'm going to remove everything out of A12. So if I go back here in the background, you'll see what it's doing. So it's seeing these numbers here, and it's going to go ahead and take them all out. So I'm going to say yes. So that's all i got to do. So if I go to my barcode scanner here, and I go to scanning, we're going to dock it, we're going to connect to it, and we're going to see this these two transactions here. So if I minimize this, you'll see that we're going to commit these transactions. See those zeros? So we didn't have we didn't have to scan them. So it's go ahead and taking care of the zeros for me. So we're going to sync them up, and that should apply our audit using the right zero and the stock tech stock take function. So if I go up here, guess what? A12 here is totally empty, which is exactly what we wanted to have happen. And then let's take a look at A11. So A11 should just have a red card and a black card. That's how to use the Stock Take Write Zeros audit feature of Finale Inventory.